We're here at the Tornos Open House. It's Emo Week, and we've just had a live event, and it's gone so well. But I wanted to come back to this machine, Paul, because this is not a traditional sliding head, is it? No, this is very special, this machine. I saw this the first time about four years ago in Moutier in Switzerland. Now, this machine is, it, as, as you can see, is a Swiss Deco 36, but it's all about uh, the flexibility that this machine offers. There's so much to see and so much going on in here that... I don't think of it, I can't think of an application from a turning perspective or even a milling perspective that this couldn't do other than obviously something that's outside its capacity. So complex parts, this is perfect for it. When you say complex parts, now you've got some parts in your hand there and as I say, the length of them is quite phenomenal, isn't it? Well, this is actually, um, this part here has got a, uh, a hole. This has been huge or gun drilled down here. 500 millimeters with this I mean it's an incredible this is actually a medical application now you know where this goes and obviously I do too but it's actually in the leg like that and uh, this I mean to think that this part has been machined complete on this machine now from one end to the other the run out using this is less than 0.2 of a millimeter when you consider that over 500 mil that's quite incredible now this machine here obviously you, you can actually see that the gun drills are on the machine itself in the turret but the turret will go through 90 degrees and then it will perform its um, its operation so really is a machine that's got total flexibility you've got the turret on the back you've got the static tools uh, and driven tools on the on the gang here and on the on the sub spindle a machine that is just ideal for you know those complex and difficult to machine parts bearing in mind this is stainless 303 that's what I was going to say actually because uh, you know a lot of hard metals do go in your body for obvious reasons but when you look at this in the industry who does this really benefit I, th I think it's for companies that really want to do uh, machining in one operation so they've got parts that are being moved around a machine shop and they don't want to do that they, they just want to put them on one machine and then to come off complete maybe run through the night as well and when you've got a machine that's running through the night you need to focus on the, the growth of the machine the thermal aspect you need to ensure that things like the um, you know vibration is taken out of the machining cycle so you get improved tool wear all of those things here from Tornos are, are focused on not just because of the hardware but because of their their control technology as well which means you can make a part like this in around about 40 minutes from start to finish which is is, is truly incredible and Tornos traditionally are very big into the uh, medical market, but is there other markets that this would fit into? I think so. I think there's a, the, 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 you could look at the automotive sector. You, I mean, you could look at any, anywhere where there's a part that is challenging, anywhere that there's a part that's challenging that needs making, and the more times you move that part around different machines, the more risks you introduce. If you need to maintain tight tolerances over long periods of time, then this sort of machine, with how, it, how it's made, even the power in the spare, I mean, it's got something like 8 kilowatts of power in the driven tools. Uh, something like 56 horsepower on the main spindle so this is a machine that has got grunt it's got power it's got torque and it's got speed and what is really impressive and I know it's not running at the moment is how quiet and smooth it is when it's machining even the most difficult of materials now we see a lot of machine tools but when you look at the quality of what Tornos are producing is this one for you know if you had that uh, fantastic shop floor with all of the all the machines and you wanted the top of the range is it is it right up there it, it's definitely uh, you know there's there's no secret tornos is a machine that's been uh, you know i think it was 1891 i think and someone will probably correct me if that's wrong but they've been manufacturing machines for that long uh, and you know some people look at tornos and think that their, their price point is out of their league, their technology is out of their league. But if you do want a machine that's that's able to machine, as I've said, to, to tight tolerances quickly and last many, many years, then a Tornos should be considered. But don't think that they're an expensive machine or more expensive than others because their most recent DT range, which they class as their standard range, is a very, very cost-effective uh, entry into Tornos. And then, of course, when you've proven that technology, one more business because of their machine, who knows, you could move on to something like this.